Whenever you're ready. All right. It's called The Escape, a retelling of the events of Argo. It only took four days of planning, four days of overwhelming stress while constantly on edge. Antonio Mendez, who had just arrived at the compound a few hours ago, was becoming familiar with the six hostages who he had learned about so much back at CIA headquarters in Virginia. He was on a mission, a mission that required him to know every possible scenario and how to react within it. A mission that required him to understand the strengths and weaknesses of all six people in the room. The goal was simple, get all six hostages out of Iran as fast as possible. A few months earlier, Iran had a radical regime change. The new regime had a strong anti-Western sentiment, particularly towards the United States. One of their ways to show how displeased they were with America was to storm their embassy in Tehran. Unknowing of the attack, several Americans working at the embassy were captured, but fortunately, several were able to escape, six of them. Antonio Mendez was recruited by the Central Intelligence Agency in his early 20s, and he instantly rose in the disguise department. Like so many others in the field, he was passionate about his work. From debunking Soviet threats in Moscow to monitoring activity in the Atlantic Gulf, Mendes was always dedicated to the success of his work. When he was assigned to work with Canadian intelligence to save six American hostages, it was no exception. He was determined to get all six hostages on a plane and without a trace of evidence, for it was only a question of how. With a few others in the department, Mendes proposed an idea that would baffle CA headquarters. He planned to take to create a fake Hollywood film and smuggle each hostage out of the hostile nation using fake alibis. On the fourth morning that he spent in the Canadian compound, not too far from the town center in Tehran, Mendes quickly realized that his abstract plan would now be the only thing between freedom and death for the six hostages. There it is. You want to summarize the rest for us? Yeah. Um, well, he uh, gets all six of them out, and they use their fake alibis to get to the airport. And, well, really nothing happens, thankfully. So they get free, and then they fly back to the United States of America. And they are free at last. So it was a successful mission. Yep. Right. And thank you for reading that in your dramatic voice. That was very entertaining. Thank you.